ignition. Dr. Ken Kremer is the founder and managing editor for Space Up Close website. He joins us now from Titusville in Florida near NASA Kennedy Space Center at Cape Canaveral. Thank you so much, sir, for joining us on the program. Now, just give us some insight into Thank the you. technicalities and logistics of launching a satellite like this one. Oh, it's spectacular. You know, I saw it up close right from the pad there. It takes many years to organize these missions. This flew on a uh, recycled SpaceX Falcon 9 that flew three times before, so this is the fourth time it's flown. Uh, successfully boosted the uh, Turkish uh, satellite to orbit, landed on a drone ship out at sea that, uh, that came back. So, yeah, it takes a lot of years, but uh, this recycling saves a lot of money, saves money for Turkey, saves money for SpaceX. And because of this, SpaceX will be able to launch maybe 30 missions this year by recycling their Falcon 9 rockets. So it's a tremendous advance. They're really the only company in the world that is able to recycle these rockets. And as uh, you're showing your, in your uh, photo there, they also recycle the nose cones. They recover them. So, and I did send you guys some pictures. Maybe, maybe you'll uh, show them also. So it's a, it's a great advance for Turkey, a great advance for SpaceX. And how exactly is the TurkSat 5A going to settle into orbit? And when can the satellite start actively being used? Uh, the way I understand it, it's going to be about five months or so. You know, it's in a geostationary transfer orbit right now, which is an elliptical orbit. They have to use the thrusters on the satellite to, to raise the orbit over the next few months. Then your engineers and technicians will be testing out the uh, 42 transponders and the the other health of the satellite, and then they'll bring it online. And then, you know, it'll be used for your for your uh, uh, broadcast like this. It'll be used uh, for internet, for satellites, for home. The government will use it, and your military will use this satellite also. So that's my understanding. It's going to have a broad use, and it'll also have a broad use uh, outside of Turkey also. Right, and we and your most Satellite, no definitely, I it. definitely. And we also can't ignore how SpaceX has kind of paved the way for many countries like Turkey to be able to launch satellites into space. How important is it to have companies like SpaceX for countries around the world who want to leave their mark in space? Oh, that's absolutely true. You know, Bangladesh launched a, a satellite. Argentina launched a satellite. Many small countries launched a satellite. Israel launched a satellite uh, to the moon, actually, last year on these Falcon 9s. So, yeah, by cutting the cost, by recycling these rockets, a lot of countries are able to launch on SpaceX rockets that they wouldn't be able to afford otherwise. So it it, it, and you know it benefits humanity. As I said, you're gonna your your civilians will be using this this satellite, so it brings the cost down, broadens it, and that's the whole point of space technology is to benefit humanity here on Earth. So it's a tremendous advance for everybody, and also science. You know, there's a lot of science satellites. I'm a scientist actually and uh, chemist, and so a lot of a lot of advances for science and for benefits of all mankind and humankind, I should say. Uh, derived from these satellites. Absolutely. Dr. Ken Kremer, thank you so much for joining us on the program and sharing that insight with us.